Hi, it's Michael LaMonaco, and we're going to do some great home cooking. So we've been staying in, and I'm thinking of all the foods that I miss, and I miss a great hot dog in the park. So we're going to do some hot dogs. Now, hot dogs with three different toppings. So the toppings really make it fun and creative, and you can do this with your family, with the kids, make some different toppings, and finish your dogs the way you like. So we have some toppings that I started already. I'm gonna make this one. This is a mango pineapple with a little chili. This is the second one is a red onion jam, but it's a bourbon red onion jam with some cheddar cheese. And then the classic New York dog, sauerkraut, onions, and pickle relish. You know, hot dogs are simple. I know they are, but a great hot dog is something you could make at home. And having and sourcing your dogs, you know, whatever you wanna use. But I, I do love some, some dogs. There are some hot dogs that I really love. And Walter's Hot Dog in Westchester is a great hot dog stand. And Pat Lafreda makes a great all beef hot dog and I love them both. Today we're gonna do some Walter's and I'm gonna do them on a griddle. But first the toppings. So let's make the mango salsa. So I know it's a little different, but why not? I'll show you a little hack. So this is half a mango and I'm just gonna dice this right in right in the skin. I cut the mango off the seed. I've scored it. And now we can just take it right out of the skin and it's all diced. The mango, the pineapple, mango's nice and ripe. Some scallion. You can do anything you want to top your dogs. There are all kinds of classic hot dogs all over America. And I think hamburgers have gotten a lot more attention over the last 10 years. And hot dogs, the classic American hot dog, has almost been forgotten in so many ways. And we tend to want to go out and have things like this as street food. But actually, they make a great lunch, make a great dinner. If you add some corn, some corn on the cob, if you add... Uh, you know, some maybe some beans if you want to make baked beans yourself. So that's a couple of hours of work right there, but it's fun. That's a little lime, some scallions in my mango and pineapple salsa. And I'm going to just season this with a little smoky paprika. Now that's a little spicy, that paprika. So you can adjust that as you like. Or if you want to put some fresh chilies in there like jalapenos, go right ahead. So we have our mango, we have our bourbon red onions, and we have our classic street food, sauerkraut, Coney Island hot dog. So now cooking dogs. Well, you can boil them if you want. You could do them in beer water like they do at the ballpark, but we're gonna do them on a griddle. I love them on a griddle. And actually my hot dogs, I'm just gonna put a little score mark into them. All right, just a couple of little score marks. Just not, not too deep. You don't want to cut the dog in half, but just a little score mark. That's good. And we're going to get those right onto the griddle. Now, you can actually add a little butter now if you want, but I'm just going to put a little butter on when I toast my buns. So let's start toasting our buns. The toasted bun is really important. That is, I, I think that's one of the things that sets a good hot dog apart from anything else. If we can toast the bun and get a nice, nice little, a little brown on it, not too much, that'll make a big difference. Adds great flavor, it's texture, great, just like that. So we have our buns and they're gonna be ready. A little more butter. You can put the butter right onto the bun if you want. A little bit like this. And a little bit like this. Just toasted bun. Hot dogs are moving along. Here we are. Good. Look at that. Of course, they don't take long to cook. They're doing great. You'll find some places we'll even add a little butter right to the hot dog. Now, you can go for all beef hot dogs. You can go for a blend, beef and pork. 
whatever turns you on. In fact, if you want to go vegetarian hot dogs, go right ahead. Do it. Just do it. But this is fun because the toppings are fun. Okay. Great. That one got away from me a little bit, but that's okay. This one needs a little more color. Let's get that on just for a little more color. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our hot dogs. And now the fun begins where we get to personalize your dog. All right, so let's get our dogs going. I'm gonna put a little mustard on all the dogs because I love mustard. And a little mustard is appropriate to all of these toppings. All right, let's get our mango pineapple salsa. You know, the, the fruit actually is a great thing. You think about it, if, if you do ketchup on your dogs, I get it. Ketchup is very sweet and sour, you know, tart, and this has actually the same effect. And with the scallions, it gives you a good crunch and a little bit of that onion flavor and a little more scallions right on top. That's good. Now, bourbon onions. So I cook the onions, I caramelize them, I added a little sugar to help them caramelize, and then I finish them with some bourbon. And I'm also gonna add some cheddar cheese to this. So, I love these onions. They have great flavor. A little cheddar cheese. That's a classic dog. And now the New York Coney. We have our mustard on already. Some pickle relish. A little more, I love pickle relish on my dogs. Some onions, a little raw, raw white onions. Want to use a Vidalia onion? Go right ahead. And finally, sauerkraut. Hot dogs three ways. It's a great lunch or dinner. Fun making. Enjoy.